Hey guys, uh, today we're going to discuss about credit cards. Uh, I'm holding like almost 100 credit cards <laughs> that I got in the last 10 years. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, and uh, today we're going to talk about some hacks, uh, credit card hacks that you could you could make use of. My score is almost 800 uh, out of 850. And I can get loans, uh, you know, very low rate. And uh, you could you could do that too uh, if you just follow our, our methods. Right. I mean, credit card. You know, when talking about credit cards, it's it's something that it's very critical, right? If you use it right, uh, then sky's the limit. But you have to use it right. So we're going to talk about a few things. Uh, it's going to be a very quick video, but hopefully you'll be able to um, get some uh, ideas of how to use them to your advantage. So here's the first one. So I'm going to shoot some questions at you, and get right. And since right. you got 800. I'm pretty sure you're using it the right way. So the best way to do this is I ask, I shoot questions to you and you boom, boom, answer them, right? Sure, yeah. And, uh, yeah. and I'm going to see, here's, here's the first one for me. I mean, there are so many credit cards, right? And how do you like, um, we always, we, we kind of sometimes um, see things like sign-in bonus, right? And uh, sign-up bonuses and uh, reliable. So there are, since there are so many options, how are you going to choose which one is reliable? Which one is worthy signing up? And if you can give, give us some examples, that'll be great. Right. Depends on what, like some people like to travel. Some people mm -hmm. like to, uh, you know, spend on the restaurants, eat, eat a lot. So there are credit cards for everything, right? Restaurant, there are credit cards. I don't want to recommend any specific credit cards, okay. but, but there are banks like a Chase, uh, Citibank, Wells Fargo, Bank of America. Those are the major ones uh, that gives points. So uh, right. on top of $200 cash back, if you spend $2,000, right, in the first three months. So you just go to creditkarma.com right. and uh, sign up, uh, you know, and when you sign up uh, to look for your credit scores, FICO, the FACO score, right, uh, that shows up in Credit Karma, you will see all those uh, recommendations from the Credit Karma automatically, right, based on your, your background, your score, It'll recommend you these these cards are good for you. I think I've seen it on uh, Credit Karma. I have a, so it, again uh, just a quick one. Uh, Credit Karma it's it's free. Uh, right. We are going to talk about that in a separate episode, but it's free. Uh, so I'm going to stop right there. So what you're saying is it really depends on which one to go ahead. Really depends on your spending pattern, right? So what pattern you and what about? do you want to do? Travel credit cards. You go for the travel, yeah. and then you probably travel. Uh, you know, when you spend like five five thousand dollars or two thousand dollars, you would get like a two round trip flight tickets, right. domestic. So that's a really great deal from you know some of the uh, com companies like Chase has those, uh, Chase Inc, Chase Sapphire, those some of the credit cards. But right. but again, like it depends on your situation. You have to go and it recommends you automatically. So okay, understand your patterns and go for uh, uh go for the best. Number two, uh, coming from uh, my side, how to request a card with, so we always see like 18 APR, right? 15% APR, 12, 10, zero. So how do you request, a, is there a possibility, uh, is, is it possible for us to request from the, uh, from the bank or the credit card issuer to, uh, okay, so can, am, I, am I eligible to apply for a um, reduced APR, ready, reduced annual fee? credit card is it possible or is it up to them does it depend on the credit score what do we do with it right so when you apply for those points right you get like first year free sometime right first year free from the next year uh is 75 dollar per year uh annual fee and but but those gives a good uh cash back uh travel cash back and a lot of other benefits perks along with it right uh, because of that, you applied, but you don't want it to keep paying that from the next year or second year, right? Uh, right. You took advantage of that first year. Uh, if you want to do that, you just have to call them, right? Most of the time, they like you to call them. Uh, call them and ask for it, like just request, right? Uh, when you request, what they do is they will, they're, they're always like one card that is uh, with the fee, one card without a fee. They always have that option. So they will just convert you from the next year, right? You already took advantage of that. Uh, they will right. just convert you. Probably you will get a little less miles if, if you're using travel cards, right? Most of the annual fee cards are travel cards. Like, uh, you know, uh, those are like a, American Express has some, something like 100, 200, 300, even $500 per year annual fee, right? 
uh, that's you just have to call them and reduce it to a uh, different uh, in a no annual fee cards but with the same same or similar perks just call them right that's all you have to do okay okay so, so it's a, okay so it's a possibility so yeah, right. okay. if, that's good another and, hack is uh, uh, sorry another hack is like if you call yeah. them and they some customer service rep right uh, he or she says uh, no you cannot do it like we cannot do it call again <laughs> okay that's a you get a different representative different rep and yeah, there's always a uh, flexibility in there just keep calling like at least three four times until you get it and uh, you actually mentioned probably uh, you know there's no correct answer for that or you might even avoid answering this question because you mentioned that you're not going to recommend anything but anyway i'm going to shoot this question because i had that in mind before we uh, started today any best cards like banks uh, that offer rewards, loyalty-based points, you know, they have these different offers, right? With loyalty cards or, uh, you know, this reward, that reward, anything that you, but I think you've already answered the question. It really depends on, you know, your spending pattern, but anything specific that uh, you want to recommend? Right, yeah, actually Amazon credit card, like I want to recommend Amazon credit card, it gives 5% cash back, right? Okay. So yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, most of us are actually spending a lot on Amazon yeah. and think about you spend, uh, let's say $10,000, right? Right. Uh, so <laughs> who wouldn't want, who, why, why don't you lose that $500 that, yeah. uh, you know, it's going to be gone uh, somewhere, right? And even the Whole Foods, if you spend it on the Whole Foods stores, you get that 5% cash back. Uh, that, that's a very good point because I know right. my wife has Amazon 5% uh, card and it totally uh, was not on my radar that the Whole Foods has this, you know, they have this thing with, I mean, Amazon. Is, uh, you right. know, thing. And so you can actually use Amazon credit card even to uh, buy um, Whole Foods stuff. Right. Not only that, like, you know, um, I would say all the store cards that sometimes like a Kohl's card, right? Let's say Kohl's uh, there are like a store cards and then there are credit cards uh, and there are like, we will have more credit card episodes in the future. Yeah. But you know, there are a lot of hacks that we cannot cover in 10 minutes uh, in this, uh, in this episode. Right. Uh, but, but basically like uh, you, you go to the store store cards, you apply for it. It's pretty easy to get even with low score credit score. Oh, yeah. It's pretty easy to get, but you get like a lot of perks along with it. Coast card, you get like, a uh, lot of perks along with it, like same with the Amazon card. Yeah, and and I know for a fact that Kohl's is really good. They always have great perks. Anytime you go, maybe it's closing. I don't know what's going on with their business, but every time you go there, you get great deals because of the Kohl's card. So that's a good recommendation. And also Amazon, that's that's a good one because I'm I'm one of those beneficiaries of the Amazon card. <laughs> right, another um, thing, Costco, right? Uh, so. Yeah. For us, it's probably like almost three, three thousand or four thousand dollar we get from credit card churning, like using these credit cards effectively in a year. Uh, just it's a free money, right? Who who don't yeah. want that? You yeah, <laughs> exactly. And when you put it that this to like ten grand, if you spend ten grand, you actually spend only nine thousand five hundred. Five hundred is a lot of money. Right. So that's a good one. And. Um, how do you use your, how should you use your credit card? Like large purchases versus small purchases and what's the best option? Because some, there's this misconception sometimes, you know, you have to use it, uh, you know, this much, only this much. And if it, not really a misconception, but it's, it's kind of in the air, right? Uh, you cannot really draw a line and say, this is it. You cannot, you know, you should not go over or you should go, um, you know, to, below or whatever. So what's your recommendation on the usage of those uh, credit cards? Right, don't go over 30%. Uh, so what, what happens is the utilization rate. There is a utilization rate that is, if you look at the FICO score, the credit score that you have, right, for your account, uh, it's decided by the utilization rate. There are five different factors, uh, algorithm right. that's being run by that, right? Uh, that one of them is, I think is 30 to 35% uh, around that. Uh, it's almost the utilization rate. It's your uh, credit to debt ratio, another thing, right? Say you have a, a $1,000 credit and you are doing $1,000 uh, on it. It's 100% utilization. So it's really bad. Like it, your score will go down several points. And uh, I have so an example. Less than 30%. Sorry. Yeah. 
So um, I was going to say, I was uh, one of those guys back about 12 years ago, you know, <laughs> using, uh, I was, I was maxing out my credit card. I had only two credit cards and one of them had only thousand and I was always around that thousand and my credit score was like 600 something. So that's an example I just want to throw in there. So how bad it can get. And uh, I was, I could, I wasn't even apply. I wasn't even able to apply for an auto, uh, for an auto loan those days. So true story. I want to share that with you just to endorse what, uh, what he said. You know, the hack, <laughs> so uh, if you have thousand, yeah. The, yeah. There's a hack to it. Like say in your situation, right? You, yeah. you could have called them and asked them to increase to $2,000. Let's say yeah. then right. your utilization rate will become 50%. 50%. <laughs> so, right, yeah. Even though you're <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. If they, if they, uh, if they prove it, that's great. Uh, so the last one from me is, um, you know, when you're a, household right you're a family person or uh, you know you're living with a significant other how useful it is to add another um uh, authorized person onto your credit card and how it affects you how it affects the other person and how it affects overall you know when you're going for a mortgage or when you're going for an auto loan or something how useful it is to add another authorized user yeah actually you should everybody should do that uh like uh, i think it's 12 and when your kid is age 12 or 13 okay. uh american express uh allows american express will allow you to add even the low like even if they're i think i think 12 i guess so i don't i'm not uh, but either 12 or 13 other other credit card companies will allow maybe after that but to add as an authorized user right as soon as you add 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 that person add your kid as an authorized user they start, they get your number of years. Say you have 20 years worth of uh, credit history, right? They actually don't get 20 years, but they actually piggyback on that, right? On your success. Like say your so score is 800. Say, so let's say in your case, like if you, if you yeah. have 800 and if your child is 13 years, let's say. Right. And he will uh, kind of, uh, he will. You, yeah, your score will be like very high. Like it'll start from 750 instead of uh, five, 600 something, right? So why would you wait until 19 to apply for your first credit card when you can do it when you're 13 you and uh, add, absorb like, your? It takes two minutes to go and add the uh, add yeah. your and, and just so you can limit that. Actually, you can limit to hundred dollar to that uh, kid to your kid. Okay. Uh, so yeah. that your kid is not going and doing a spree uh, you know kind so of that's a good point yeah so you can add a limit to that author <laughs> that's a that's a very good point Venkat. thank you so much for those hacks and again this is a very short episode that we wanted to do we want to throw in but obviously we are going to talk more about uh, each of these points and some additional points later on our channel so if you like this video please like us subscribe us and it's goodbye from my end, unless you have some uh, final touch up points. Uh, no, no, actually, I think uh, the, today's episode, we are good, Like, but we, we have a lot to cover on the credit card uh, thing. Uh, yeah. There are so many hacks that, uh, like, if you don't use it, you lose it. And uh, you can actually yeah, make exactly. them so rich just by using credit card. Yeah. Thank Fantastic. you guys for watching. All right.